Meow, I'm Cece, and I have cat ears now, and I don't really know how to get rid of them, so I guess I'm just going to be one of the cats now. And talking about cats, I have several, and by several, I mean several. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I have, a, I have a problem. Now, we have something really important to do today. Super important. Okay, so over here in my Wither Tower that I built last time, I did some thinking, and there's two things that I think would work really well here. The issue is that both of those things come from the end, being end rods and chorus fruit. I think they'd work perfect for this area. But on the backyard, we are delaying the ender dragon fight for a while. Probably won't be for another couple of weeks or maybe even a month. But I really want them now. So what if I go to the end, but I don't fight the dragon? And to do that, I'm going to need some resources. Get off of my chest. I can't access my redstone. So getting into the end isn't going to be an issue. All I need is just to find this portal and then go through it. But getting to the area with Chorus Fruit is going to be the challenge. So I need a way of crossing the gap from the central island to the side islands. And there's two ways I can do that. One is just to build a path, but that is going to be thousands and thousands of blocks. So I think the better option is going to be to make a flying machine. Now, the issue is that I don't know how to make a flying machine. At least not one that can travel with a player on it. So I guess we'll have to start with doing some experiments, see if I can figure out a way. Now, I do know the basics of flying machines. Like, all you need to make a flying machine is literally just this. And then you just put on observers facing this way into the slime blocks. And that should start sending it off. Uh, uh, did it again? I done it again. Oh, I do this all the time. Oh no! Come on, it's too high up. No, no, no! God, I have to catch it on the other side. Nope, I'm not there yet. Yeah. Now this does act like a flying machine, obviously, but the issue is that if I wanted to ride this, well, I'd kind of just have to. Oh. Yeah, you see, I'm just going to fall off. And I think, theoretically, I can stay on it, but it won't be very comfortable. Like, I have to just keep doing this. Which, uh, yeah, I don't really want to do that for a thousand blocks. So one way of me staying on it, I believe, is if I just place a block down here, get some rails, and get a minecart. Okay, so if I sit here and then flip this lever, do I stay? No. Okay, maybe I need to have a block behind me. That's an issue because I don't actually have enough slime to do that. Actually, I do have some honey though. If I just replace this slime here with honey, and then switch out this block here with slime, and then put a new block there. We'll try it without the rail first and see if I stay. Well, it breaks, so that's, that's cool. Why does that break? Ah! Yes, so honey isn't a solid block, so observers can't actually power it. Okay, that works. Okay. It doesn't work on the way back though, but that's fine, it's going to be a one-way trip anyway. What I want to do now is just test this flying for ages and see if I ever do fall off. Because if I fall off halfway across, well that's me kind of screwed, so I need to be sure this is going to work. So. The only way to know is if I'm going to test it. But it seems to be working. Oh, I've, I'm into a tree. That, okay, so... If I run into... Ah! Okay, so it's good to know that if I run into a tree, then it's going to be a problem. But luckily, there aren't usually that many trees in the void. So it seems to have grabbed some blocks on the way, but it, is, it seems to be flying perfectly fine. Gonna, what's going to happen here? Oh god, they're still here. B, get them! <laughs> yeah, B, do it! Yeah! B, combat! <laughs> oh no! Okay, this is going to work. Perfect. So, I guess next step is just going to be going to the end. Now, this is going to require a few items that I don't currently have. There's some items I still need to gather. 
Item number one, Ender Pearls. I already have a few, but I need more. Item number two, Blaze Rods. And the issue with that is I don't actually know where the fortress is, so I have to go look for that. So I think maybe if I go past this portal over here, there's timers. Oh, no, I can't go through it. Where's, where's this go? Oh, my word. Neo. Ow. When did this happen? Ha 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 ha. I have found the fortress. The issue is that it's over there, and I am over here. Oh, perfect. There's a spawner right here. So I guess I'll be right back once I have killed some blazers. And get my fire resistance potion. I think 35 should be more than enough for now. So now I need to get some ender pearls. And there's a few ways of doing it, and I think the most... Ooh, dear. So I've currently got 11 ender pearls, but to be safe, I kind of want to get a few more. So I'm going to go back into the nether and do some piglin bartering, and that should hopefully get me the last ones I need. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, just one. Okay, well, at least I got some soul speed. Oh, you gave me another one. Wow, that's rare. Two, perfect. I just need one more one and I can make a soul speed free. Oh, and some soul speed boots. This guy is a soul speed man. Oh, and these ones are soul speed free. Perfect. <laughs> oh my god, the amount. Why are there so many zombie piglins here? Okay, I'm going to do something stupid and hope it works. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Okay. Uh, so, I managed to get a grand total of two ender pearls out of that, but I also did get a bunch of other stuff. So, that's nice. Okay, let's turn all these into Eye of Enders. Lovely. So one of the Eye of Enders is going to be used to make an Ender Chest. Like that. That is integral, otherwise I wouldn't be able to get the items home. So I think I actually have all of the stuff I need now. Okay, let's go somewhere nice and open, just so I can see exactly where the pearl goes. That way. Please don't break. Okay. I'll be back with you once I get close or I find the portal. So the server is empty now and the stronghold is directly beneath me. I threw a pearl and it went straight down. So let's just start going. Whee! Oh my god, there's quite a few mobs down here. Okay, let's just pretend that's not there. Oh, oh here we are. Oh! Would you look at that? Oh god. Oh no. Yeah. I can't hit it! Okay, uh... I don't know if I want to get rid of this or not. I'll leave it there for now and just kind of deal with it. Oh, that is a problem. One of the pearls broke on the way here. So I don't have enough. I do have the blaze powder, I just need to go and find a... Enderman. So what's up with these doors here? Why is there not a single mob down here? <laughs> What's going on? Oh, wow, that goes up to the surface? That is insane. Oh, God. That goes down nearly to bedrock. That is incredible. Oh. Bastion. Oh, God, that was risky. Oh, no. That was stupid. That was stupid. <laughs> okay. Okay. Warp forests are unique in that only Endermen can spawn in here, I believe. So. Oh, I've made a mistake, haven't I? Now I have fire aspect, which makes this a bit more difficult. Oh, he's mad at me. He's mad at me. He's mad at me. He's mad at me. Run. Okay, I'm in. Oh, that scared me. That genuinely scared me. Yeah, got it. Okay, got two of them actually. Okay, perfect. Let's try and work my way back now, I guess. Okay, I'm back here, and now I can craft up a Eye of Ender. Perfect. And I will be able to go into here, but two people have joined, so I'm going to leave it for now and wait till it is quiet on the server again, because I want to keep this secret. I think it'd be funnier if it's secret. Okay, I don't think I can keep putting this off. I think I just need to go in there, even if my son's online. I'll see if I can uh, bribe him into keeping quiet. <laughs> but I need to first prep myself. Ah, this is... I 
I regret not turning off that spawner. So, the way that we're going to do this is I'm going to go in there with just this stuff for now. And start building a bridge away from the island just so I can get away from the dragon without, like, losing everything. Okay, he said, of course. Let's go. Wait, that's also quickly changed my status. Slash status. Crime. Let's go. Okay, uh, so I want to go to the farthest point I can, which would be over here. Okay, it's going to take a while. I want to get as far away as I can. Thank you, Mason. <laughs> Oh god, it's coming. Oh no! Alright, okay. Bad start. Ah no! Okay, uh, let's grab some more dirt and go back out there. Oh, the. Oh, it's. Oh, it's not good. <laughs> oh, that's concerning. Let's uh, wait for this to vanish. Is that. Why is it Enderson there? Yeah, there's Enderman on the bridge, but they should be fine. I'm going to go for about 32 more blocks, and then I'm going to start making a platform that I can build on. Okay, I think it's time. Oh, I'm, I'm spooked. This is dangerous, but... Oh, okay, well, I've committed. Okay, I need to wait till the end dragon is... Oh, no, that's bad. That is bad. Oh, that's terrible. Why, when did I look at him? Ah. Uh, uh, I need to find a hole in the wall. Oh, no. Oh, why is that so slow? That is so slow! Oh, hole in the wall, hole in the wall, perfect. Okay, 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 okay. I think I should be safe now. So, let's see if I remember how to do this. It's been a couple days since the last clip. Uh Oh no. I've forgotten. Um Okay, I know that one observer faces into this slime block. So I can do that now actually. Nope, I can't because I need to face it the other way. Actually I'll place it in the minecart as well, just so I don't accidentally set it off without me. I don't want the veil, I don't think, so that can go. Okay. So then I'm pretty sure the last observer just goes in like this. But I'm 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 worried. I think I'm going to quickly go into a test world just double triple quadruple check cuz I don't want to mess this up. Okay, I was right. The observer goes here. Okay. Uh am I all prepped? Oh, I don't have a way to actually activate the observer, do I? Okay, I can do this. Okay, 3 2 1 Go. Oh. oh, it's a lot scarier when it's above the void. Okay, I guess I just have to leave it like this until I eventually reach solid land. Okay, I see land already and it is a bit different than I normally see. Oh my. Okay. Okay, I'm a bit concerned that I'm gonna hit the wall and fall out. So luckily I got an ender pearl from that enderman I killed, which should give me the chance to just teleport onto that ledge that's there. Actually, am I gonna go under it? Cause this looks like a kind of bad, bad island to be on. I'm actually going to keep riding it until I go past this little island and get to the next big one. I see my target. Look up there. Got some, uh, some chorus. Okay, I'm a bit concerned because I'm going to be going under this bit but above this bit, but I can't tell the depth of where that is. So I think I'm going to have to go for an ender pearl up to here. But I think it's my only real, like, shot. Two, one, fire! Oh, okay, we've made land. Panic over. Well, ish. Because I need to figure out a way of getting up to there. Or down to there. 
Let's see how far I can get on foot. Okay, I really shouldn't be in this area with this armor. Let's hope there's no actual new mobs in here. I haven't really considered that with Terrell if there could be anything. Well, there's no new mobs, but like there might be some actual hostile ones and not just Enderman. Okay, up there. Looks like I can get a decent way of the way up. I might actually just pill it up directly and then just kind of use this as my chance to collect some end stone. Okay, I don't know if this is all the way up or at least most of the way. Oh, I thought that didn't even... Okay, perfect. There's some chorus fruits over here. Okay, I realize now I haven't actually tested this. I'm just kind of going off of my potentially wrong game knowledge, but I'm pretty sure... Okay, that does break them. There we go, that's what I've came for, chorus flower. And now with the end stone, that means I can grow chorus flower and fruits and stuff in the overworld. So let's get a few more, just to uh, have a supply of some actual fruits. God, the arrows are falling on my head. Okay, I don't know how many chorus flowers I need. I don't really need that many since I can just, well, farm them. But I still would like to get a few just to have. Okay. Do you see what I see? Now, I didn't come here for Elytra. I wanted to save that. Like that, I, I purely came here just for the chorus fruit. But, I mean, shulker boxes would be nice. If I can get up there, that is. I don't actually see a way up to that area, though. The, ooh! There's an end gateway, so I can just leave. No, I can't. That won't work until all the dragons killed, I don't think. Or at least it will just send me back to the central area. Where I'll still have to kill myself anyway, so... That's a lot higher up than I thought it was going to be. I... Oh, there it is. Okay, there's the end city. Is that right up there. It looks tiny. I don't think there's an elytra there. But there is a chance I can get a shulker box, so... The question is, how am I going to get to it? Oh, I have terrible depth perception. <laughs> Just to be safe, so I don't accidentally lose everything that's important, I'm going to quickly put my end chest down and place in all of the excess stuff. I'm to open up. Oh no, I guess I'm going up. Oh, I don't want to be going up. I do not want to be going up here. Uh, oh no. Oh, this is bad. This is not good. This is... Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> I'm so dead. Okay, got one. Got another. Two, fire protection, champs three. Not bad. I've got an efficiency four pickaxe, so I can keep going, actually. And, oh, I got two shulker shells. Perfect. Yes, I have a shulker box. And a head! Yeah. I might as well just see how far I can actually get in this place with a single piece of steak. If I'm going to die, I might as well do it in style. Well, never mind. <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. I got what I wanted. It's in the ender chest. So now I just need to head back home and I can go grab it. I just don't know how to get home. I have returned, but I have made an oopsie. I forgot that I needed to have two ender chests. One in the end and one here. So, yeah, I can't actually grab my items. I need to go get another ender pearl. Okay, I got my inner chest and now I've got all my stuff back and I've planted a few of the chorus flowers over here and they already started growing, which is nice. So we'll see how long it... Oh, there we go, one just went there. So we'll see how long this takes. So now I can make myself some uh, end rods as well, which I think will look amazing around here. So one thing I want to show you before I end this episode off is that I made a map. So the map is a bit too tall, so I had to put it sideways on this wall. So just kind of tilt your head. But then I also kind of ran out of wall space as well, so it's also on the floor. <laughs> this is the worst way of displaying a map. Because not only is it going over walls and floors, it is also upside down, because this side over here is the bottom. <laughs> I've kind of put myself in charge of mapping out the server, and it's been a real pain. But I'll find somewhere better to display it, and preferably that's not on multiple right angles. So the reason I'm showing you this is that there is a cool path network that is going around the server. So here we have Sprinkles Bridge that's going over here, connecting up to BH's area, where there is another path that goes down the hill over here towards J's. 
that also goes through this hill here and then through this bit where it's right in the seam, unfortunately, that goes over to here, which then goes up the hill and then through the mountain over to Hul. Then also down this way is a path that connects up to Mycen Rhea over here. So I do have a path, this one here. The issue is that it just kind of stops. It doesn't actually connect up to everyone else's path. So I need to sort that out so I can actually get between people's bases a lot easier. So what I'm going to do between episodes is just try and get those connected. But for now, I want to do a prank. I've been disconnected from everyone for too long, and I think I should make use of my little salmon friends. So on this server, we have a data pack that gives mob heads. But also, a vanilla feature now is that a mob head placed on top of a note block will make the noise of said mob. Like that. And I'm not sure if everyone knows we have this. So I'm tempted to just go around and place down some note blocks in people's bases that randomly go off and just make mob noises. You've either got the cow that breathes in your ear, or moos. Then we've got the... the oh, bye. Or we've got the uh, magma cube, who splats. And then we have this one, which makes salmon noises. Actually, I want to see what noise does a shulker make? <laughs> okay, that's really funny. Oh, I have to put that in someone's base. Okay, Myson's just logged off, so I think I'm going to quickly go to his first and do the Shulker one, since he's the only one who actually knows I've been to the end. Okay, here we are at Myson's base. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at it. But, uh, okay, let's see if we can find somewhere that we can do this. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's a bit too often for my liking, but I don't really have the redstone to make it any less that way, but that's <laughs> So I'll leave myself a sign, and also, look, we have the new tough bricks added to the game. Yeah, we have all the 1.20 whatever number uh, blocks added. So, okay, on to the next building. Okay, there we go. Got Lumbles done now. So next up, I think I'm going to do BH. Okay, I'm actually going to do Hula instead. Uh, but I don't actually know where her base is. Okay, I was going to use the cow one here. But, well, I don't think you'd really hear it over all these ones. So I think, I guess I'll do one of the fish instead. Okay, that's Hula done. So I think I'm going to do one more. And that's going to be actually BH this time. Okay, and now I'm at it. Okay, and now I'm at uh BH. Oh, oh, he's already got a basement. Wonderful, thank you. Okay, uh, for BHs, I'm gonna go with observers. Okay, that's not as good as I think it could be because they're all going at the same time. What if I add slight delay between them? Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> And there we go, BH is done. Okay, I've now ran out of uh, note blocks and also mob heads and also my horse apparently. Where's where does he always run off to? I have lost my horse. Oh, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I was about to have a TV moment there. Okay, let's get you home and we can end the episode off. Ow. Okay, so. I hope you all enjoyed today. Uh, between episodes, I'm going to do some path work, and then next time we can actually get into doing some building with all the new stuff I've got. <laughs> Watch that we actually end up going to the end before I make proper use of the end rods and stuff. <laughs> so yeah, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye!